We are still missing the great Elichia Madi, author of The Concubine, who died earlier this year. Fortunately, people are still fondly remembering the late writer. Here's a short report on an event organized in his honor. Elechi Amadi was an iconic writer, novelist, and playwright. He was famous for works that explore the role of the supernatural in Nigerian rural life. His best-known works, however, make up his historical trilogy about traditional life in rural Nigeria, The Concubine, published in 1966, The Great Ponds, published in 1969, and The Slave, published in 1978. Amadi died in June 2016, and since his passing, lots of activities have been organized in his honor ahead of his burial. Bert Ackert, based book and reading advocate Rainbow Book Club in conjunction with River State Indigenous Visual Artists and Alliance Francais, organized an exhibition of contemporary arts and a tribute evening to honor Elichi Amadi. As a young person growing up in Nigeria, I met Elechi Amadi, I would say, through his writings. A lot of us may know his books like The Great Ponds and The Concubine, but it was in 2005 when we founded the Rainbow Book Club that I met him for the first time. Let me use this medium to say that Captain, as he was found the code, was one whose prowess in the literary world not only encapsulated and showcased the rich cultural diversities of our beloved country, Nigeria, but also his works and personality. Wherever he is now, the Almighty God knows that he affected his generation positively. And those of us who are still living to queue up and do the same, Family members in attendance had things to say about the legendary writer. Life my husband was complete. And now he's no more there. It's, um, I'm still trying to adjust to the vacuum. It's, it's quite a challenge. It's quite a challenge. He had a very real presence. And, um, I miss him very much. Um, it's something that... Um, one is working on it's not some um, grief is not something that you get over overnight, but gradually I know that. But I always remember him as my father. So many people don't know that um, he was a math and a physics scholar. Yes, he taught uh, people like uh, Senator David Mack, and at the same time he had this flair and love for literature, of which he excelled with his. Uh, books like uh, Concubine, Great Ponds, uh, Sunset in Biafra, which is a, a documentary on the Civil War. He wrote plays like Kisiburu, Pepe Soup, The Woman of Calabar. Yes, um, the world recognizes him as a literary giant and his Exit to the great beyond is uh, a sad one to every one of us. Apparently, the late Amadi had many special qualities and will be remembered for many special things. He captured in rich and vivid language, in detail, in the finest of prose, the life of the typical African village before the influence of the West. And his stories were mainly mirroring the life of his Ikwere people, which most of his earlier books were really about. So, of course, his literature. And then there's his character. He was a simple man. He was a truthful man. And then there are his values as well. We are lacking people of value in our society today. But Elichi Amadi, it wasn't about money and material possession. It was about finer things of life, <laughs> good relationships. It was about pursuing the things that would advance our humanity and build a better society. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's show. Please send us your comments and feedback through any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. I look forward to being your host again next week. I am Olakunle Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.